Despite a small spike in activity this afternoon following disappointing US jobs data, the gold price remains nearly $100 lower than it was at the start of last week. Spot gold was last around $1,150 per ounce, with a robust dollar still creating downside pressure on precious metal sentiment, though it has retreated slightly from a fresh two-year high hit against the euro earlier today. Many analysts this week have of course been bearish on the near-term outlook, with any more spikes in the dollar likely to send gold into free-fall selling. However, the disappointing non-farm US data has given gold some welcome relief heading into the weekend. The hot topic this week, once again, remains the distinct lack of physical demand from the world's largest consumer last year, China. The physical gold market in China has almost completely dried up, with local sources telling fast markets that prices will have to fall at least to $1,100 per ounce to really spur buying. With spot gold near its lowest since April 2010 and down significantly from its 2014 peak, it had expected China to enter the market to pick up on the bargain prices. In April last year, when prices sank to its lowest that year, Chinese buyers were fundamental to its recovery to around $1,600 per ounce. Spot premiums on the Shanghai Gold Exchange, however, are now at level par, having fallen from as much as $6 over spot at the start of October, highlighting the lack of demand for the metal. Indian demand remains strong on the basis of Indian wedding season, but support on prices from China will be eyed over the coming sessions next week. In other news this week, a dovish speech from ECB President Mario Draghi yesterday did little to affect the market. Many thought this would have seen the start of a quantitative easing programme in the Eurozone. However, it wasn't to be. Onlookers will now be looking to the December statement for the next update there. The big news today, however, is that ICE has been chosen to administer the London Gold Fix, beating off competition from the likes of the LME and CME. The new solution is, we're told, likely to come into play in Q1 next year. In the other metals, silver looked like it could test $15 an ounce today prior to the US jobs report. It has been looking shaky over the last two or three sessions. However, the disappointing data has buoyed it to around $15.60 per ounce. The others, platinum is floating around $1,200 per ounce, while palladium continues to perform well on stronger fundamentals and improved confidence in the US, with investors of course thinking that it could spur more vehicle sales in the future. For now, however, that is all from me. This is Ian Walker reporting for The Bullion Desk, down here at the London Metal Exchange.